Hello and welcome to another SBI Direct. This SBI Direct is a very special occasion. As a matter of fact, it's such a special occasion that I wore my most expensive and complicated shirt just for the occasion. Mm -hmm. So this Direct is focused solely on Indica and Decay. Indica and Decay is a side project solo thing from Elon of Sasnak. And you've probably heard Sasnak, but you might not have heard Indica and Decay. This is a ongoing synth rock opera that is split into five acts, and three of the acts are already on streaming, and they have videos as well over on YouTube where you are right now watching this. But in case you haven't heard it yet, it's really cool. It's kind of um, like New Order, Depeche Mode, it's like Bomb the Music Industry, like Eichler's, like all kind of like mashed together in this really fun, cool like story that's split out over across the five parts. And the whole collection, all five parts, are coming to streaming very, very soon. So in this direct, you're gonna find out when that is, you're gonna learn about the making of the album, the making of the videos, a lot more about the story, you're gonna hear from Elon, and you're also gonna hear from Simon, the illustrator that helped create the very cool art all over the cover, you're gonna see it all throughout. And then also, the collection, all five acts, are gonna come on a zine with a cassette in one cool package. And that's coming very, very soon as well. So during this direct, you're gonna hear all about that stuff and a few more surprises along the way. So. Enough of me. Take it away, Elon. Hi, my name is Elon Moskowitz. You might recognize me from the band Sad Snack. I'm here to talk to you tonight about my rock opera, Indica in Decay. I've always been obsessed with serialized storytelling, like in comic books. So, before we check out the music and the videos, let's go check out the plot to Indica in Decay Act 1, the first installment with our illustrator Simon Jane from Blue Hair Comics. Hey, Simon. Silence, swine! I'm creating. Hey, I'm Simon Jane from Blue Hair Comics, and I am the illustrator for Indica and Decay Act 1. Speaking of operas, my favorite opera would be Mozart's Magic Flute, basic I know, but classic. And my favorite modern contemporary rock opera would be My Chemical Romance's The Black Parade. When drawing the characters, these are the initial character designs that Alon had sent me to work with. A lot of these characters, Indica, Arthur, they're people that I really knew from the music scene playing drums and feeling pretty helpless in the early 2000s. People that like, died. And during the quiet of the pandemic while I was writing a lot of these synth songs by myself, I started really processing through a lot of what it meant to see people just not make it out. And I wanted to kind of commemorate that and make a story that exists in practice spaces, that exists in these places that like, you know, you see a lot of people like find and live their dreams. You see a lot of people just absolutely collapse and burn out in. Indica is an energetic drummer with limited expertise who moved to a major city to join any major successful rock band. As a result, the last 15 years have been a mess of band houses, band breakups, and sleeping on practice place floors. 15 years of my butter and a dream that's corroded along the way. Indica meets Arthur and joins his band, The Holy Grail, where Arthur has the secret to writing perfect songs. Excalibur! Magical songwriting guitar. Arthur forgets that he's a mythical champion and takes any perceived slight from the growing crowds coming to see him out on the crowd, not on his band, by playing awful covers despite everybody. Indigo leaves Arthur romantically and musically because despite having Excalibur, Arthur's self-destructive tendencies were too much to handle. Indica fears she's blown her big opportunity of fame and spirals through an epic crisis fan bender. As the Holy Grail's album is topping the charts, Arthur inexplicably, but unsurprisingly, to Indica commits suicide. So Indica crashes Arthur's celebrity funeral where she meets the mythical Lady of the Lake and is chosen as champion of Excalibur and the magical summer in the sun. The Lady of the Lake has spent centuries giving out enchanted weapons to desperate, glory-seeking schmucks so that she can enjoy their downfall on the ensuing quests. Sadistically, she tells them all they're unstoppable, mythical champions. With her new 
Rainbow is champion. Indica is now the target of Silicon Valley's flawless songwriting AI and any other desperate songwriters trying to keep up. We've got too many synthesizers. If you want a synthesizer, come down this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You can have a small synthesizer, a large synthesizer, kind of a drum synthesizer. You should come down to Indica, Indica, Indica underscore in underscore decay with an at sign at the front for Instagram. And synthesizers! Hot damn do we have synthesizers! Look, we got ones that flash, we got ones that don't, shit! Hot damn, come on down to Indica, Indica. We bought too many synthesizers and our warehouse burned down. Yeah. This project is me, a drum machine, and some synthesizers. I recorded Act 1 in about 18 hours with my friend Prince over at Portland Underground Recording Studio. 15 years of my butter. But, you know, as I started gigging out with more and more of my friends and making new and crazier collaborations, certain things stuck that couldn't be undone from the fabric of the album, and I went back to record some of it before bringing you the album today. This is Sean Stewart from Octopus Primate Media. Could you uh, tell me when my rent is due? It's due right now, motherfucker. <laughs> and in the summer of 2021, I approached Elon with the idea of making some music videos for the newly recorded Indica in the K songs. Revenge always made me less hell 
back. Uh, Elon and I worked on the second Indica and Decay video where we collaborated to come up with a story about grimy American gladiators. I'm busy. <laughs> no. no, I don't want this. What's going on here? What's going on here? What is this? <laughs> Oh you gotta God. stop hitting the actors in the crotch with baseball bats, Sarah. <laughs> oh no. I think there's, oh no. A, I think there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a tumor. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a small, I don't know, but... Any bananas? <laughs> no. She's gonna poke a hole in it. Hey, I'm Josh PM. You might also recognize me from Sad Snack or Scarface in the Indica Indica music videos. Now, Scarface started out as a bit part in the Oasis Numbers video, um, but we had a lot of fun with it, and despite the fact that having a character with his own arc across multiple music videos seems completely incongruous with the fact that Indica Indica is its own rock opera with a plot, uh, Elon just kept asking me to come back and play Scarface.
All right, and now here's the final Indica Indica video in the whole ska face cycle. Gino, would you like to introduce it for us? That's really well said. I definitely couldn't have gotten that myself. Wow, I hadn't thought about it like that. Anyhow, here's the video, enjoy. Well, I guess that's it. I guess that's the end of the Indica Indica Direct, but um, did that just say out now? I think it did. So um, I guess it's out. Go to Bandcamp. You can hear the whole thing, all five acts, right now. You can pre-order the CD and Zine collection right now, and all of it will be on streaming 
in like 30 minutes, you're watching this live, you don't have to wait like at all. And if you're not watching live, what are you doing? Go listen to it right now. Stop looking at me, go listen to it. Go, 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 go.